Okay guys, welcome back down to Carbon Car Systems. It's been a while since we've done a video, but today we are doing the brand new 2020-2021 Toyota Hilux. Now this new model, uh, this stereo here came out in approximately June 2020. And if any of you guys out there with the Hilux change the tray instead of the factory tub, you're not gonna get a reverse camera. And what's gonna be happening is you're just gonna get this blank screen when you chuck it in reverse. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to use one of our kits to install a reverse camera on this model highlight. So this is going forward from approximately April, May, 2020 onwards. Anyone with this style stereo with the dials on it, um, it is super, super easy and cheap to put a reverse camera on this because we actually custom make a kit with all factory plugs and everything for this model. Um, literally probably a half an hour job. It's gonna cost you next to nothing. I mean, Toyota charge something like $500 to do this. Um, we're gonna do that like a fraction of the price for you guys out there, for anyone that wants a reverse camera. So let me jump into it and I'll show you what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using this Soundskin Visions camera and we actually custom make these to suit the Toyota Hilux. And what we do is we actually put this genuine plug on here, okay? So it's all gonna be plug and play. And this is easier than the earlier model kits that we do for the Hilux. So we sell camera kits for all the model Toyota Hiluxes from 2006 right through so they can work on the factory screens. Um, and previously you had to pull the stereo out, but this one's a lot, lot easier than that. That's why I believe anyone should do it themselves. Um, and we're gonna make it super easy for you guys. So for example, this is our patch interface harness right here. And as you can see, that's the four pin plug and we can actually just plug it straight in. So I'm just gonna try and do this one handed, but if we can do it one handed, that shows you how easy it's gonna be. There you go, that's gonna clip in. And that's gonna clip into our passenger side kick panel down there. And I'm gonna show you how to mount the camera, where to run it and everything like that. Um, but this is literally just gonna to run to the back of the vehicle and you're gonna mount your camera up. So uh, these cameras are really, really good because they're really small. They got great night vision. They're IP67 waterproof rated. Um, they're adjustable. They've got guidelines on it. If you wanna turn them on and off, you can turn them on and off. Um, so they're a really good camera that we actually custom make. So this is it here, nice powder coated, really small camera, stainless steel screws. Um, it is waterproof and dust proof rated, like I said. And you actually have these three options here. So the green one, you can actually cut that loop to turn the guidelines off if you don't want it or join it back together if you do want them. And you've got a white and blue wire here as well. And that is simply to change the image on the camera. So if you were using this camera on the front of the vehicle, for example, you could flip the image horizontally, or if you mounted the camera upside down, you can flip the image uh, vertically as well. So that's what those three loops are on this camera. And um, we actually give you that on the front of the box and it tells you what those loops actually do. Um, so we actually bench test all these as well before they go out. So they come with two years warranty for anyone out there that's actually wanting a reverse camera. But look, let's jump into it guys. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to install. Um, so for anyone out there with this Hilux stereo that wants to add a reverse camera, this is how it will be done. Guys, when you buy this kit from us at Carbon Car Systems, this is everything that's gonna come in it, and it's gonna be everything you need to install the reverse camera quickly and easily on your new Hilux. So I'll run you through what's actually gonna be in the package. So you're gonna get cable ties here. They're gonna come so that you can run the cable under the car and tie it up nice and neat along with the factory looms. We're gonna give you some conduit here. This is just split tubing so that when you run the cable, you can actually make it look really factory and it protects the cable when we run it under the car as well. And we're gonna run you through how to actually do that and mount it and on all these different vehicles with the tray. But we're just gonna show you what's in the kit at the moment. Uh, what you're also gonna get is the camera, which we actually just showed you at the start of the video. That's actually gonna come there all packaged up nice and neat. You're gonna get uh, a couple little stickers and screws for mounting up the camera. Then you're also gonna get the camera lead, which is about a seven meter lead, I believe, from front to rear, so it's more than enough to run to your kick panel on your vehicle, and you're gonna get this patch interface harness as well. So, look, really easy and simple to do. I'm gonna show you quickly how to plug it all up. So on these uh, cameras and to the lead, there's these little arrows on here. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see on this camera, but there's an arrow on this side and this side, and on this waterproof plug, and they actually just push in, okay? They'll only go into one spot, really easily to do. You're gonna mount that at the rear of the vehicle for the camera, and then you're gonna run that to the front, it's gonna have that four pin genuine Toyota plug on there that we actually use. It's gonna plug into this patch harness, nice and easy. 
really simple and easy to do. And this is gonna plug into your kick panel. I'm gonna show you quickly how to pull the kick panel off. I'm gonna install this straight away just to show you how easy it's gonna be. And then we'll run you through where we run it on the vehicle as well. And the passenger kick panel of the new Hilux. And this is how easy the installation is gonna be for you guys. We're just gonna move this mat out of the way a bit. But you've got this little uh, kick panel here or the side trim. You're just gonna put your hand under it and these simply pop up, okay? So just pull on them and pop them up. Very easy to pull up. And that whole panel will actually come off, okay? Um, not hard to do. It all just clips into these factory spots here. Sometimes these will come loose, but this is just where we're gonna run our cables anyway. So we are gonna pull those up. But if they do come loose, you just push them back down and they clip back in. Very easy to do. And you can just simply push that back on when we're at the end. Secondly, down in the very corner of it, there's a little lug down the very corner here. And you can actually undo it with your hand. There's no need to do anything else or use any tools for this part. Undo it, simple clip. And then from there, you're just gonna pull this panel off. And it's so easy to do. You just pull it outwards. And then once you pull the top towards the center of the vehicle, you're gonna pull out towards you, okay? A um, little bit hard here. There we go. And the reason you pull out towards yourself is because the bottom clip is actually on an angle, okay? Oh, well, the top one is there too, so. There you go, pretty easy to do. It's basically when we push it back in, that's the angle you're gonna go in on, okay? Once you've actually pulled that out, this plug here is gonna be where we're gonna plug everything in. You simply push the little locking tab on the top, unclip it, and we're gonna put our T-harness straight into there, okay? It'll only plug in one way. Clip that in, put the original factory plug back into the other side of it, and that's as simple as the installation is gonna be, so, no need to actually remove the stereo on these more new models, but that is completed. Now we're going to turn the stereo on and actually show you that it's all working. Okay guys, so it is important that you actually do this installation while the vehicle is off because when you actually turn it on, these stereos are camera detecting. They actually sense the signal on the camera. So if we turn this on now, you can actually see that the camera has been plugged in and installed. The unit's starting up. We're going to chuck it in reverse. And there you go, there's the camera on there. So we're looking at the kick panel there, but you can actually see it here. There is the camera installed, nice and clear picture. You do have the guidelines on there. You can actually cut the little green loop on the camera that I talked about earlier if you don't like those guidelines so you have a full clear picture of the reverse camera. But hey, super simple and easy to do, completely plug and play. Uh, look, they're super cheap. They're on our website, Carbon Car Systems. This is gonna suit anything with this new model stereo. Now look, we're gonna show you how to mount this on this tray, but Every different vehicle will mount it in wherever you like, but we're going to show you on this genuine Toyota tray where to mount it. Okay guys, so if you have any sort of tray back on your vehicle, such as uh, this one, this is a genuine Toyota tray, but this will work for any sort of vehicle that you have where you have a different tray from the factory tub. Now today we're going to be mounting it here in this location. This is just a factory spot on this vehicle, but hey, if you had something else there, you can mount it anywhere along the tray. You just pick and choose and the reason these cameras are actually really good is because you can actually mount them this way or you can mount them this way and you can actually reverse the image with the options on the guidelines. So that's why we make a camera like this for you guys. So this is how easy it's gonna be. We're actually gonna run this cable through this factory position here, through this hole. Really simple and easy to do. And then we're actually gonna mount this camera up here. And the reason for that is actually to give the client um, much more angle on the actual camera. So if we actually mount it here, he can actually see his um, hitch up for his caravan and he's going to get that angle up and down or he can go straight out as well so he can adjust it to how he likes it. All right, so once you've actually done that, we're actually going to mount that up. We're going to show you where we're going to run it, but you're just going to plug this camera in. So we talked about this earlier in the video. He's going to line up the two arrows straight in. Okay, these are a waterproof lug, okay? So you don't have to worry about these getting wet. Um, we are going to put conduit over this or split tubing just to do that extra bit of uh, protection against you know, the elements and stuff to make sure it's gonna last um, for as long as possible so you're not gonna have to replace it. Um, but look, undo the cable, okay? It's all gonna be nicely neat and done. It's got actually a, a six volt reducer in here because this is a six volt camera, um, so it can work off the factory screen. Uh, it's all um, heat shrinked up here so it's nice and safe and secure. And we're actually gonna show you quickly I'm going to show you quickly how to do your split tubing the easiest way and come down here actually don't go away um, come closer so if you actually want to do split tubing the easiest way you're going to find the split in the tube and you're going to slide it on on that split 
just like that. And you're just gonna push it on through the split. And if you hold this spot there, you can actually just hold it and guide it along, okay? So here we go, all the way through. So let me just pull this through the camera just to make it easier. All right. And there you go. And we're actually gonna tape all that up. And when we mount that, it's nice and neat. It's gonna be in the factory tubing. Again, you're gonna put all that coverage on. You can go over that actually waterproof join and you can continue along and do the rest of the actual tubing. And once you've completed that, what you're gonna do is take the cable ties that we've given you, and we're gonna give you heaps of these, um, and you're gonna mount it and run the tubing with the factory wiring. So you can see split tubing here. So we're actually gonna run it along so we're gonna run it along the top here, okay? You can actually see where all the light wiring goes. We're gonna cable tie it up to those, okay? Cable tie it with the original looms, and we're gonna run it over the top. There's a little bar here, over the top, and again, with all these factory looms, okay? Because you know it's not gonna get damaged in those positions, and we're gonna run it straight across the top of the chassis rail there, and you can actually see all the other looms right to under the passenger passenger seat or the passenger footwell and there's a little rubber grommet which is going to come up into that so that's what we're going to do now we're going to mount this camera drill a couple of holes we're going to do that off camera just to save time and noise run this along that tubing straight to like i said the passenger footwell okay and that goes all the way along and you just cable tie it up guys right, so we've got it all Mount it up nice and neat there, so you can actually see just above the number plate, and it's gonna get enough light from that number plate light to be able to see it at night. It's got a really great night vision. And you can see here, we just cable tied it up along here. I've left the cable tie cuts there, just so you can see where I run it. Um, we're gonna clip those off so it's nice and neat. But it runs all the way along here, along the chassis rail, and then up to the front, underneath here. And I'm gonna show you how to get it up into the cabin. So this is the passenger footwell. You can see with the plug in there, ready to go. And we're gonna come out just under the seat here, okay? Um, I'm just gonna pass this light over here so we can see a bit better, hold that. Okay, it's gonna come up just under the seat here. Okay, there's a little rubber grommet. And if you lift this up, like you can actually unclip this section here, just pull those up, lift the carpet. And just under there is where we're gonna come out. So you see the cables going through there anyway. Um, but I'll show you underneath the car where it's gonna go push through. So. Have you got those clippers at all? No. Okay, what we're gonna do guys, so we can see we run the cable here, and if you come up under, excuse the glare, just over under here, there's a little rubber grommet. So you can just see it just there. Um, here, I'll just try and angle this light a bit better. There you go, guys. That's the rubber grommet there. And what you're gonna do, you can actually just pull on that, okay, and it'll clip through. So it's just, you can see there it goes through the carpet. Um, See, we're trying to do this one hand. Yeah, there we go. Okay, pull it completely out. We're just gonna put a little snip in the center of that, like a little snip with some pliers, and then we're gonna feed our camera cable plug straight up through that into the footwell. And when it pushes through there, the conduit, the rubber will seal around the conduit nice and neat so you won't get any water into your footwell. And it's just gonna come up here, out of this section. Run it along here, we're going to put it along here with all the factory looms, plug it in, and then put the kick panel back together. Okay guys, so you can see I've come out here, just under the footwell, and put that in here, push these clips back on, they're going to hold in the place nice and easily, okay? Um, simple to do, you don't even need any tools to do it, just clip up. Nice and easy into the factory locations. And then the final part of the process, plug her in, mate, and she's done. So we're actually just gonna bundle this up and we can put it down here in the footwell. There's plenty of space for the extra looming. So you can see here, plenty of extra cabling. It's definitely gonna reach, you don't have to worry about that. And keep it nice and factory and clean. And you're done. Guys, when you're putting these back in, you just line up the little holes to the white clips and push it on. It's pretty simple to do. There you go. Give it a little tap, make sure it's in place. Now, the one thing about this that's really easy to do, the little clip that we pulled off, 
This is it here, be hard to see the light. Let me take this camera. So this little clip here, that goes down here onto that little bolt. Literally, all you gotta do is just push it on. So you just push it. You don't even have to twist it on, okay? They're designed to push on. So you can see there, just push it on. They anti-clockwise screw off, but they push on. And then we've simply got to put on the last panel, which will go in this spot here. Make sure you get it right way around. And just pushes on. And there you have it guys, nice and easy, probably about half an hour, 45 minute job. And reverse camera's in. Alright, there you have it guys, that's the completed job, so you can actually see it there, nice clear picture, works really good at night, it's got a really clear night vision, it only requires 0.01 of a lux to be able to see at night, completely plug and play, one of the easiest insulation kits we've ever done for you guys, so that's the new Hilux reverse camera kit at Carbon Car Systems, and it will not void your factory warranty because it is completely plug and play, and literally just down that kick panel for you guys, nice and easy.